Killian's little cir circle. Why are we putting magical things on Killian? <laughs> I don't know. I wanted. I want to do it. Does it do anything when I put it on her head? <laughs> are we back? Hang on. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do anything with them. I think we're back now. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna keep buffing you with magic items, Killian. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm gonna give somebody this hat. Like Killian's not using it, but I don't know who's gonna remember to use it. All right. At the very least, it didn't interrupt in the middle of that. That would have sucked. <laughs> All right. Mm. We're back now. So you were discussing um, what. Uh, you were doing with the uh, small little uh, crystallized tear that you had? Yes. Ooh. I put the volume on my thing too high. Yeah, I want to put it on Killian's little um, cir circlet. Is that what it's called? Yeah. See if it does anything. Um, nothing happens. Oh, okay. Uh, Killian, yeah. you see Gilly just sort of hold his hand up to your circlet for a moment. Don't touch that. She kind of like... <laughs> <it>. <laughs> and then uh. he's like, huh, anyways, let's go to bed, guys. See you in the morning. Uh, good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. And he, he puts it in a jar, like a little vial, and then places it the empty vial what appears to be empty on his bookcase before crawling back into bed um as you place it in the in the uh, little glass vial it sort of refracts light um sending little reflections along your walls oh cool before you tuck it it's away like, it's like a night light and then he falls asleep and you can hear him talking about croissants again Croissants. <laughs> All right. Killian very hardly goes to sleep in her own bed this time. <laughs> all right. Uh, after that, you all drift off to bed. And uh, when you awake, it is morning. Long rest. <gasps> Correct. Long rest. Yeah. Sweet. Long rest. Oh, yeah, I'm not almost dead anymore. <laughs> My spells are reset. Take a long rest. Woohoo! Uh, Crook's gonna get up early and uh, say a prayer to the morning star before going to do his morning routine. I'm gonna sleep in because I showered the night before. All right, uh, you go about your morning routines, eventually uh, all waking up at your own pace. Good morning, yo. Oh, yeah. Good morning, group. <sighs> Breakfast time. Hi, Kelly. Marches down the hallway playing her bagpipes this morning. Really cheerfully. Just doing like a little march, you know, high step in it. <laughs> oh man, what a performance. <laughs> it's quite good today, Killian. Oh, thank you. What do you call this one? Why you gotta put me on the spot like that, Gilly? <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. I'm not. Morning Every... birds that don't stop chirping. Oh no. Uh, morning birds, what? That don't stop chirping. Hmm, an interesting name, but mm -hmm. suitable. Because <laughs> I'm never gonna stop. Never? Never. Kirk's gonna check his schedule for today. Right. Um, you have a uh, lecture in the morning and conjurations practical in the afternoon. Um, in the uh, upstairs hall. 
Are you serious? We have a test? <sighs> Wait, a test in what? Say that again. I didn't say test, just a practical. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I thought it was a test. I was about to lose my mind. <sighs> I didn't prepare for... Actually, <laughs> realistically, does Gilly really study anything? Not really. <laughs> Good bread. Yeah, bread and True. drugs. Plants. <laughs> you gather up a uh, a quick breakfast before heading off to your morning lecture. Um, <laughs> Killian, you get some odd looks from uh, some students in the hallways as you uh, march about with this uh, sparkling circlet on your forehead. <laughs> Killian's like standing tall, really confident. Standing tall. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> how about that? Put me on your shoulders, Croak. How tall is how tall is she? Like three, three something. I wrote her height down as the tallest halfling. I never gave her a height. <laughs> yeah, there's no there's no exact height, but <laughs> taller than your average halfling. <laughs> Is she really a halfling then? Or just a short human? <laughs> yeah, she's basically a just a short human. <laughs> uh, so what do we need to do? I need to either write to the rangers or talk to the headmaster about that new info. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a three-quarter link. Uh, welcome, uh, Zeke, as well. <laughs> quarters then all right you make your way <laughs> back to the school feels like it's been ages since we've been here the toffee monster <laughs> poor thing oh nobody go over there it's gonna be disgusting <laughs> in fact it's been so long that the maps have updated it's great oh, like the trees beautiful that uh, thing's still there the lights are new too aren't they uh, uh just just better lighting okay that's oh. what i thought i remembered seeing the email for the updated stuff there's an email there's goal email do <laughs> you <talking about laughs> yeah, you don't, yeah incarnate stuff yeah you don't have your uh nilavon.edu email address <laughs> I <don't. laughs> if i did i probably haven't checked it in a minute that's why i don't turn in my homework <laughs> I mean, that's basically what the self-updating schedule is. Yeah. Uh, Kirk will salute uh, Tom and Arlette on his way in. They uh, shoot you salutes back. Hmm, this looks smaller. Maybe you're just bigger. Think? He's grown over the year, yo. Yeah. One step closer to becoming a dragon turtle. Turtle. Exactly. Indeed. The size of that has definitely not changed. Oh man, I could have swore it was bigger. <laughs> oh, you play along with yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you... Go ahead. You pass by the headmaster who's speaking with um. The uh, woman from the Halls of Worship, as you make your way to class. Uh, Sembra? Good yep. morning! Um, uh, greetings, Headmaster. I hope your uh, trip fared well. He puts a pause in his conversation to uh, say, oh, Morning to you as well. Uh, not too bad. Um, Could have gone a little bit better, but... Uh, Still nice to get out once in a while. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, we actually got out a bit this weekend. Um, Wednesday? And discovered some... Wait, was it? It was it a was Wednesday. Wednesday. It was Wednesday. It's, it's Thursday today. Sorry, Headmaster. Mm -hmm. uh, it was quite a long day yesterday. And I was quite confused. Yes, uh, I, t however, I tended to uh, lose track of the days myself as well. Indeed. Um we do have new information regarding that mysterious E you mentioned uh, and the attack on Arcanae with the Fae. You do? 
Uh, indeed, sir. Uh, we discovered while investigating a lost girl's whereabouts uh, in Taysalt Cave, uh, there was a creature by the name of Quiltack who was serving uh, as an aide to this mistress. Uh, what was her name again? Emmerius. Ah, uh, yes. Mistress Emmerius uh, turned out to be this E we were searching for. Hmm, that tastes salt, tastes salt, tastes salt. Uh, if you go back there, I left my skulls in there if you can get them back. <laughs> um, as he's sort of uh, stroking his uh, bony chin, um, thinking of uh, taste salt, he, he <laughs> glances at you, Killian, and says, uh, Left your skulls? Yeah. Well, uh, I suppose in the future you better uh, take care to uh, keep those properly fastened. Yeah, you're right. It was my fault. Hate you for them to go uh, their own soul if it wasn't attached. rolling away. Well, good thing it's attached. <laughs> <laughs> it's why I don't go anywhere without my bagpipes. It's why I sleep with them at night, too. <laughs> Uh, he plants two two hands on the uh, either side of his head and just sort of gently lifts his own skull off of his uh, his spine and says, "I can't relate." Oh, can I borrow that? Ooh. Uh, I'm afraid I might need it in the future. Oh, okay. Uh, do you do that often, Headmaster? Uh, only when it uh, suits a proper joke. <laughs> Understood. Croak's <laughs> uh, a little disturbed. I was staring in amazement. I see. I'll, I'll look into what you uh, mentioned. Uh, perhaps I'll send a letter to the rangers as well. Understood. It is much appreciated, sir. And uh, he looks uh, kind of past you guys. Uh, is young Gildor with you? Mm, he kind of puts his hands up, yes. Where, Where is are you? this? <laughs> one of our portraits. Oh, hey, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh. hunting, but that's Hiding really behind weird. the half wing, really. <laughs> it's three quarter lane. Oh, gotcha. Sorry. Um, oh. he says, "Uh, I'm afraid I'm a bit busy today, but I'd like to speak with you tomorrow." Mm, understood, sir. Uh, we have okay. classes today, so uh, we'll be quite busy. Um, perhaps if we have a free moment tomorrow, um, maybe during lunch, we could meet with you. Yes, uh, in between your classes or after, if you don't have the time. Understood, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now then, I suppose you lot had better be running off to class. Yep. To class we go. Crow, can you take your head off? Am I going to uh, learn anything? I cannot, Killian, and I wish for you not to attempt to do <sighs> such to me. One day. That's not very comforting words, Killian. Don't worry, not today. You have time. Uh, so in the morning, you have another lecture, uh, which passes by relatively quickly. Um, not nearly as exciting as uh, exploring a cave, but uh, perhaps a welcome change of pace from the uh, danger and excitement of Taste Salt Cave. And it rolls around to your lunch hour. Um, you have a uh, Conjurations Practical in the afternoon, but uh, you can tell me how you spend that uh, lunch hour if you wish. If there's anything particular that you want to do. If not, then we can skip right past it. Mm -hmm. Can I spend it on attuning to the hat? <laughs> you can. Okay. I'll unattune from the hat. Uh, I would like to chill in the library and start or begin working on. Um, actually, I don't have the materials. I need to get the materials for spell scroll scribing. And then I want to begin scribing a feather fall scroll. Um, you can discuss with someone on the uh, supplies together. Um, the librarian might know. 
Yes. Then we'll she'll. Uh, the all right. Then she'll inform you that she can get them gathered for you by tomorrow. Okay. Great. That's all I wanted to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Dallas with the files. Mm, Alright. Uh, then yeah. I'll, jump, I'll jump you right there. Then. Okay. Because that's a conversation we should have. Everybody else hey, want to accompany or just Gilly? Uh, Croak, you're busy. <laughs> but uh, busy. Yeah. Killian, busy. Killian and Yo, busy. you can accompany if you want. I can? Yeah, you can get company. Okay. Gilly's gonna be or Gilly. Gilly's gonna be asking uh when your guys' birthdays are, by the way. Oh shoes. What did I put? Mm. I don't remember. Give me a second. Oh, you guys actually wrote down birthdays, neat. You know I have a bad No, memory. I didn't. I just said twenty five years old. Twenty three. Yeah, I don't have one either. I don't think. Damn. Well whoever says their birthday's coming up next. I want a spring birthday. Ooh. <laughs> spring birthdays are nice. Yeah, how about April 1st? I mean, April 2nd. April 1st! Yes! Gilly would totally be a spring baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dallas <laughs> is just sort of working away as you enter. Oi, Alice, what's up? He kind of like says loudly and abruptly to. Uh, she looks up uh, from what she's doing with a start and says, oh, uh, hello, is there something I can help you with? Yes, it's your favorite student with new things to look at. Uh, she has a uh, small chuckle and says, uh, of course, uh, I suppose let me see it then. And then he comes over and he's like, so I got, <clears throat> I got a few new things. Um, Snapdragon okay. sap? which I don't know what it does. Spittlebud petal, which I also don't know what it does. A small vial of murky blood brown liquid. Um, I'm not sure if it's like alcohol or something. It could be. There's a chance. And then um, yeah. he takes out another vial and he's like, this one has like these tiny, tiny purple things in it. They kind of float. I I somehow captured a few of them. Um, she takes a look at the uh, Snapdragon and Spittlebud um, uh, harvest that you've uh, made first and says, uh, Snapdragons and uh, Spittlebud. Uh, is this from uh, one of Professor Hibiske's lessons? No. So you see, we went on this really grand adventure. Actually, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> um, she nods and uh, she takes a look at it. Well, um, S Snapdragon sap typically um, is used as one of the ingredients in uh, some glues. Um, it has a very uh, sticky feel to it. So uh, often it'll be used as an ingredient for that. Uh, as for the spittle, but uh, I believe it has um, very acidic properties. So I'd advise you not to consume it. What if I just put a little bit in a drink? You know, like like um. You mean like citrusy acidic or like? No, like um, uh, dissolve your tongue acidic. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I probably don't want to consume that. Yes, I would. I would avoid that one. Uh, now these other two are more difficult. Now, I've seen quite a lot of plants in my time, but nothing. Uh, this murky brown liquid here, uh, where did you obtain this? So you see, we went deep into a cave, and then we had to solve all these problems that um, Killian mostly solved. 
right, Kelly? <laughs> uh, nah, nah, it was a group effort. It was a group effort, but um, you figured out some key things. And then um, we had to fight this, like, mad scientist. And these were, like, vials that he had in his, his area. She just sort of uh, nods politely along with his story and says, uh, Yes, uh, I imagine this wasn't something that was just harvested. This is mixed. Um, she opens the stopper and smells it. Hmm. A sweet smell. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know what this is, but... Oh, be careful of that. I'm, they have something to do with poison, I think. Yes, I was going to say something along those lines. I would advise you not to consume this one here. From my experience, whenever something in nature smells sweet, it is because it wants to be consumed. And when something in nature wants to be consumed... Uh, that should uh, set off some uh, alarm bells for you. Okay. He, like, frowns. What is going on? He has nothing to um, to try. What about this purple thing? <laughs> yes, this one's a bit difficult. I've studied... Quite a lot of the plants on mainland Grand Lorien, and I I don't recognize this. So if I had to make a guess, I would suggest perhaps something from from the Feylands. Mm. Mm. Can I consume it? Until we know what it is, I would say don't. Uh, of course, I'm uh, not in charge of what you do uh, once you leave this uh, little hut, but I would suggest that you don't, or you may be returning to my hut very soon, if you catch my meaning. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't happen to know anyone from the Feylands, do you? Amongst the students or professors? <gasps> Windy. Windy. Let's go. Windemere. Yeah. Wind Windemere. Yes, that's her name. Yes, well, that would be my best guess is to talk to a, a local and see if they have any more information. <laughs> no, I know. I know I called her Windy. I did that on purpose. <laughs> I was like four episodes ago. <laughs> Well, that would be my uh, my place where I would start, is talking to someone um, from the Feylands and see if they have any more information. I'm afraid I can't help you further. Okay. Let's go find Windermere. Does that make you feel better, Croak? Called her Windermere. She's I don't know what you're talking here. about. I'm not there. She's not even here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for your help again, Dallas. Thank Bye, you. Dallas. Thank you. Let's go so, find... Come on back if you need anything more. Yeah, we'll probably be back very soon, as you know. That's a little worrying. Try to avoid coming back if you can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah <really. laughs> uh... <laughs> I mean, you're probably right, but geez. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, He's... I'm going <laughs> to go find Windermere. All right. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick break. Uh, just two minutes. I'll be okay. right back. Okay. Sounds good. Windy, 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 windy. You guys uh, add your temp HP? Oh, nope. Oh, no, I didn't. How much is it? Oops. I closed all 20 crap. Seven, seven, seven. Is it seven? always seven? Uh, until she levels up or adds okay. to her charisma. Seven. So it's not a roll, it's just seven. a flat. I will, of course, always add to charisma. <laughs> There's no roll involved, it's just a flat. Correct. 
It okay. is her charisma modifier plus uh, level. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that's what it was. I just knew it was seven. I don't think we're fighting things today. Uh, we do have a conjurations practical. True. Oh, is that what that means? Is we're fighting? Mm, it means we're going to be doing something practical. Yeah, practical application. Is that the magic. class where we got our ankles bit by all those rats? All right, I'm back. <gasps> I think it is. Yeah. Everybody still here? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're talking about how many times we can say windy in a minute. Windy, 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 windy. We're not talking about that. <laughs> 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 we were oh sorry my headphones weren't working for a sec <laughs> oh I put a picture of my cat in the general it's probably for the best Jay mm -hmm. look at it, how cute he is do... oh my god Locke is so cute I know right until he's not cute He's actually sleeping right now, though, so... So watching your Discord things light up, I'm like, why can't I hear them? <laughs> Wait, you can't hear us? No, I can hear you now. Oh, oh thank God. God. I just missed oh. the, the first thing, that, right after the first thing I said, when I said I was back, I missed that. Oh, oh. Wendy, 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 Wendy. Told you you didn't miss anything important. <laughs> Very, uh... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... Well, we were doing it to summon her, okay? I see. <laughs> it's a it's a summoning cast. <laughs> they actively have to cast down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, you make your way out of uh, Dallas's healer's hut, and um, by now it's rolling around, sort of towards the middle of your lunch hour. Um, so if you want to eat, you should probably do so. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We're meeting at the beach. Uh, <laughs> beach time. Oh. We're broken to find out about that. Oh yeah, we can probably just ask her in class. Or mm. dinner, or you know, whenever. Oh I yeah, mean, dinner is fine too. I'm at the library, so I don't know. I'll wander out in town square. Uh, sure. You run into them in town square. Um, as they leave Dallas's hut. Oh, greetings. Hey, group. Hey. Uh, hey. Have you all had lunch yet? No, nope. not yet. Not what do you... Uh, well, perhaps with this warmer weather, we should attempt to uh, have lunch at the beach. <gasps> you like sand now? I do not like sand, Gilly, but I like fish. Yeah, fish is always great. Mm -hmm. Fried fish. Mm. Sushi. Sushi. Oh, so good. Uh, will you be cooking the fish this time, Gilly? Well, I know you usually roast it in a way, but... Um, I'll look at it. The beach has had a uh, facelift as well. Mmm, looks nice. Mm hmm. The water looks different. It looks like, um, wavy. Like there's <laughs> waves. Yeah, Zeke, I was, I was resisting saying that as well. Um, yeah, this new, uh, just the, uh, Kirk's comment about sand was, uh, dangerously close to, uh, Anakin's comment about sand. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've yeah. specifically not said the line, <laughs> but I've wanted to so hard, dude. Say <laughs> it. No. Why? Um, yeah, the uh, the water is uh, much nicer now. So uh, the I temperature. Go in, make sure. The uh, temperature has warmed up on the beach a bit uh, since you were last here. How's it feel, yo? Dive in. <gasps> Looks good. What kind of crustacean fishies are you going to catch today? I don't think that's a thing, Gilly. 
crustaceans. Crustacean fishes. Chris, Chris, I don't know, but I like crustaceans. You know, like crabs, lobsters. Oh my god, crab would be so good right Lots now. Of... Yeah. Oysters. <laughs> Uh, Croak's just kind of plopped down on his butt, just chilling, basking, getting some uh, visor tan. Uh, he yep. probably just tan just like across <laughs> his <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the, the further out you go, the colder the water gets. It starts out relatively warm, and then as you go out a little bit further, it begins to get cold. Oh, gotcha. Stay in the warm part, then. And I'll just catch whatever I can, whatever you know, whatever's there. Um, yeah, the fish seem to be staying in the warmer part as well, so you're able to catch them pretty easily today. Nice. We'll gather, gather up enough for us and bring them to the shore. Ooh, what kind of fish do we have today? Please describe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's on you, yo. I'm not, I'm not oh, on God. the spot here. Mm. How deep did you go? How deep? Uh, uh, depends on how how far out the spell goes. You know the you know the weather thing, keeping the water warm. Um, it starts, it starts to get cold around uh, maybe fifty, sixty feet out. Okay, so not super mm. far. Oh, uh, so what kind of fish? Maybe like some flounder or something. If the water was shallow enough. Or if it was deeper, oh, maybe. Uh, hey, did you go fishing? What? Did you go fishing? Uh, in real life, I've ocean fished quite a few times. Out of character, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was, uh, we were asking Yo what he caught. Well, this one's name is Jeff. And this one's <laughs> name is Carolyn. <laughs> this one is Bob. You, Wait, how are we supposed to eat your friends? Why do you yeah. name our lunch, yo? <laughs> she asked me. She Aww. asked me. All right, kill him. The, the fish, not yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You guys wouldn't eat me, would you? I don't know. There's more fish in the world than yo. If we kill for the fish, we could start a whole fish empire. I mean, re realistically... All the fish you guys have eaten so far have all had names. You just didn't ask. That's true. true. Yeah, I am telling these things to, you know, the fish to... I'm coercing them <laughs> into coming to me. So it's uh, pretty messed up. Yeah, it is all very messed up. And uh, naming them is just adding another d uh, dimension to it. <laughs> Dude, I thought I was evil. <laughs> Gotta eat, kill no. I at least don't name the things or want to know the names of the things I'm eating. Well, it's survival of the fittest, and we are more fit than these fish. Thank to you for your. To be fair, Yo always knows their name and still eats them this entire time. Oh, that's true. Damn, Yo, yeah. that's. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit of a good. dark world, yo. Fish are families, Wait. Gilly. Fish are family. In my tummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Right. So how are, what, but what type of fish did you catch? <laughs> or did you catch crustaceans? <laughs> Man, I don't know nothing about fish. So hey. you could have gotten like if it was shallow water, probably like flounder or something, or maybe if you went deeper out, you got like some red snapper or grouper. I don't know. Yeah. All the ones I could think of were like humongous freaking fish that would be way out there. Catch the swordfish. Oh, that would be too big. That'd be way out there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this. This is flounder. Flounder, flounder makes sense. Flounder. flounder. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, there's some of them. Yeah, there's sea bass. Oh, sea cool. bass would be easy. <laughs> that one was time Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sea bass. Eat it. The B plus. Sea bass, you eat it. <laughs> Let's eat it. Uh, Cro Croak will oh. take out his mess kit and um, say, uh, Gilly, if you had any preparations you wanted to do. Um, 
he's just gonna say we should probably descale him and then just put him on the fire. All right. Uh, Crook will use his, I guess, long sword since I'm giving all my daggers away and uh, <laughs> descale the fish. Sweet. All right. You spend some. You spend some time preparing uh, lunch. Um, you have to do it a little bit more hurriedly as you spent your first half of lunch um, doing other things. So uh, it's a little bit more hasty this time cooking your fish. But uh, eventually you have your meal ready for you. Yay, it's fish. Oh. Yay. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Indeed. I wish I had like um, lemon, like dry lemon. No, I bet they had some at the dorms. Sure, but by the time we get to the dorms and then come back... Oh, that's so like true. Last time. Oh, well. Uh, well, uh, perhaps if we're done eating, we should head to class. Yeah. You heard the schedule, Master. He uh, says yeah. we shall go. Oh, my and name. the seas will part <laughs> for him. Or, uh, practical, right? Indeed. Uh, conjuring practical. Oh boy. Uh, conjurations, excuse me. Make your way back up to the school. And uh, back through the entrance hall towards class. Uh, you're all up here, but... Uh... You make your way through the hall. Um, the headmaster is gone now. Uh, as you pass through the entrance hall. Towards the uh, classrooms off to your left. Oh man, I almost just said I salute Simbra. <laughs> <laughs> Reflex croak. Yeah. No salute for Simbra. Uh, I mean, she can't see you, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want to be insensitive. It's like when you wave at somebody and they don't see you and don't wave back. Yeah, that's bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you do it, she won't know, so it'll be less embarrassing. What if she can, like, sense it? Hmm. Like, the waves and the... I don't know what all Eustacea's powers are, so I'm not a follower. Vibrations in the air? <laughs> what if she feels <laughs> vibration of your soul? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just kidding. All right. I guess we're going to class. <gasps> Look who's there, Killian. Sophia! Wait, we're not even over there. Uh, you make your way to class. You can see uh, the back of. Windermere, who's also making her way to class. Windermere! Uh, she turns around and says, uh, Oh, uh, hello there. We have oh. something for you to look at before class starts. Ah, uh, well. Maybe he, like, quickly takes out the vial. Uh, she what looks <laughs> uh, sort of, like, rushed and hurried and says, uh, Well, uh, <laughs> class is ab about to start. I, uh, I can take a look for you after class if you want, but right now... Uh, I don't want okay, to be works. late. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Big classroom time. We are in class. <gasps> Hello, Sophia. Killian like, leans over on the table. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it looks like it's been ages since I've seen you. I know, right? The snow's all gone, too. Makes it feel even longer. Um, yeah, well, uh, at the school, the uh, snow goes away a li little bit sooner than uh, other places, but uh, it does feel like time has passed rather quickly. Yeah. Man, do you want to hear about my Wednesday? It was so intense. Mm, well, uh, perhaps after class, uh, yeah, after class, after class. I think uh, the professor's about to start. Oh, I didn't study for this practical. Well, I don't think it's a test, so I think you'll be all right. I hope so.
All right, you take your uh, seats as uh, Professor Oriander gathers his things. And uh, satisfied that you've all taken your seats, he looks across at the class and says, uh, All right, then, everyone. Ready to begin? Uh, Croak will nod. Good. Now, in my past classes, I believe uh, I've shown you a couple of different conjuration spells. And uh, I like to focus on utility. I like to show you spells that will be uh, useful, even if they aren't always the most flashy. And uh, we'll continue that trend today with a uh, handy little spell called Demiplane. And now then, has anyone heard of this spell before? Demi. Uh, no, sir. It uh, takes quite a bit of practice and skill, so it's uh, perfectly fine that uh, none of you are capable of it. It's something for the future, perhaps. But I'd like to show it to you today, as it is a part of my curriculum. Now then, the thing about Demiplane is that uh, it has quite a few uses. Now, uh, perhaps I ought to just begin with a demonstration, and I can explain further once uh, we've got things rolling. How does that sound? Certainly. Okay. Um, with your nods of agreement, he begins to stroll over to the... Um, wall off to your right and uh you see him sort of uh look at the wall examine it um he runs his hand up and down it kind of uh along the flat of the wall and then gives it a a firm yes this should do nicely all right and then you see him um begin to just sort of trace an outline along the door along the uh, wall uh, in the shape of a door. And then as he finishes, you see a door manifest itself. Uh, it shimmers slightly with a uh, sort of shadowy aura. And he says, uh, now then, that's Demi playing. Uh, you can come closer and take a look if you like. Imagine it's quite hard yeah. to see from the back. Oh, sorry. She moves out of the way. Uh, Killian just like sticks close behind her. Hmm. It's quite fascinating. Where does this lead, Professor? Well, the handy thing about Danny Plane is that the caster constructs the room that it leads to. Interesting. Uh, the room, you say? Uh, how large or small may the room be? Uh, around 30 feet or so is the size. Uh, pushing it from there tends to be incredibly taxing on the caster, and uh, I would not recommend trying that. Uh, 30 feet seems to be the limit. Now, when you conjure it, um, if you are creating a new room, you can decide the material it's made of, wood or stone, whichever you find the most comfortable. And uh, this door remains for approximately an hour. Now, the time frame is important, and we'll get to that in a bit. So just keep an hour at the back of your head. Understood. One hour. Now then, the interesting thing about Demiplane is that when you conjure this door, you can conjure a new room, which will be empty, or you can conjure a room that you've conjured previously. You can create a collection of rooms, if you will. 
Now then, I suppose I'd just better show you. And uh, he pushes the door open. Follow me. Audio crackle follows well. Go first. All right, everybody group up so I can copy paste you. Okay. Let's gather your party. I'm going to be the last one, though, to go into the room because I was doodling and messing around that I didn't pay attention. All right, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take turns, so okay. uh, not everybody can fit at once. So demon room. Right. You're going first. Now then, to the demi plane. Why the hell are we in a closet? Why is Gilly messing? Oh, hmm. <laughs> Alright, uh, so as you enter the door, you are standing in what is correct, ostensibly a closet. Mm. This is this, alright. Um, you see uh, Oriander sort of follow you all in. And then he uh, grabs a small hourglass out of his uh, coat pocket and then places it on this chest here, um, tur overturning it so that it, the sand begins to cascade. And he says, uh, time is important, as I mentioned before. We have an hour. I don't imagine it'll take us that long. Uh, mm -hmm. What happens in an hour, Professor? I assume the door closes the door disappears and we're stuck in a storage closet after that yes the demi plane still exists but the door disappears which complicates things if you're attempting to leave now of course as long as i'm in here it's rather simple i would just cast the spell again were you to be in here alone it might complicate things somewhat uh, professor if the door disappears and you recast the spell, does it reappear where we left or somewhere else? We will be able to return to the location where we entered. Ah, understood. Uh, now then, as you can see, the one that we currently stand in is one of my storage closets. Now I mentioned that this spell is not particularly flashy, but incredibly useful. And, uh, I have a personal storage closet of many things free for me to access wherever I go, which you can imagine is quite a useful thing. Mm, certainly, it does yeah. quite convenient. Indeed. Very everything would you put a bed in here, right? I uh, suppose, though, you'll uh, have to take a very short nap. A nap? Well, you can only be in here for an hour. Don't want to be sleeping when the time runs out, right? Ooh. True. Now, so what do we do in here? Steal stuff. Hmm. I wish I had one of these. I could Whoa. secure Why prisoners in one. Oh, this would have came in great oh. handy for that Where? little chef. Where? Oh, right in the guy. corner in the back. Indeed. Kind of yeah. like edges towards it. Um, as as you look around at uh, some of the um, uh, food items in here, you can see that uh, one of the baskets in front of you has uh, gone a little bit rotten. Ooh. And you see uh, Professor Oriander go, Ah, oh dear. Well, time does not stop in the demiplane. So... If you are going to store food, then you must be careful to uh, keep track of exactly when it may spoil. Uh, now then, let me take care of this. And uh, you see him pull a uh, wand out of his pocket as well. And uh, with a little swish and a flick, you see um, the crate of spoiled goods um, lift itself up as if somebody else is carrying it. Oh. And then... Um, simply 
march its way out of the demiplane behind you. Is that hmm. the one with the mushrooms on it? Ooh. <laughs> uh, no, the uh, the one to its right. Okay. Um, and he says, uh, actually, this is uh, another teaching moment. The spell I just used is called Unseen Servant. Mm -hmm. I was just about to ask. A very handy little spell for when you need to uh, get something done but don't have the time to uh, do some sort of menial task. Uh, you can conjure your Unseen Servant and have this uh, invisible little friend help you out with uh, your chores, I suppose. Interesting. Gilly, you should learn that spell to handle your laundry in your room. That's exactly right. Hey! Are there, I'm assuming know. there are limitations to the spell. <clears throat> yes. Uh, for the most part, like any spell, it does have its limits. So that would be very useful. Indeed. I, I often find quite a bit of use for it while I'm uh, planning lessons and too busy to uh, attend to things around the house. <gasps> you hear that, Gilly? I do need to learn that one. Mm. Who oh my god. Have... We have like a, a servant in the dorms. <gasps> then we would never need to do laundry again. Oh my gosh, yes. No. Oh my god. The tasks themselves have to be relatively simple for you to be able to give it to them. Uh, easy things like uh, fetching something from another room, or uh, cleaning something, mending something, uh, folding your clothes, uh, lighting up a uh, fireplace, serving you some food, or pouring you wine. Hmm. I need it. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> uh, can you come into contact with the unseen servant? Uh, as in, could I touch it? Is it just incorporeal? In fact, you can, and uh, too much force used against your servant will uh, cause it to disappear. So I advise you to treat them well. Oh, I see. Of course. I would never harm another being that didn't deserve it already. And uh, should it get too far away from you, I think you'll find that it uh, begins to disappear. So you'll have to keep it uh, in a relatively small leash. I see. You never leave my side. Mm -hmm. Um, now does the time move um, the same in here? That's out there? Yes. So, uh, you do want to be uh, careful of what you're storing in here. Um, right. Or what you're using the rooms for. As uh, Time does move the same. Uh, as you can see with my uh, spoiled food. Now... This one is used for a closet, but uh, it doesn't mean that your demiplane needs to be a closet. Uh, it can be a small study. It can be any sort of room that you can imagine, as long as you can fit uh, whatever you need inside it. I'm sure that uh, with your creative young minds, you can come up with plenty of uses for a uh, small room. Kurt's only use that he keeps thinking of is prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> Criminals. It's criminal prisoners. You could put like a whole forge in it. Mm, a forge, indeed, Killian. That could be interesting. Could you wait, could you make it into like a garden? I hear a happy bird. <laughs> well, the floor below you would be wood or stone, but you could bring plants in here as long as you kept them watered. Interesting. Yo, Gilly, you can totally grow stuff. I need one. Wait, what level or how how much experience do you need before you can use something like this? It's an eighth level conjuration. Oh god. That's like level sixteen or seventeen. 
as I mentioned before, it uh, is uh, takes quite some experience to get the hang of, um, and some wizards uh, can uh, cause mishaps when they first are learning it, but uh, I'm sure if you all get to that point, you'll be just fine. Hmm. Can the room be damaged? Like, say, by fire or something like that? Well, I haven't tried that, to tell you the truth. Mm. But um, I imagine the contents of the room would burn, anything flammable. And uh, the walls themselves, perhaps, would most likely not, and would remain. Uh, Krug's mm. just trying to make eyes with Gilly and Killian and just shake his head like, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> don't test. <laughs> <laughs> we we didn't even say anything yet, okay? Okay, then he's just stretching his neck side to side from your perspective. <laughs> Kelly looks over, and then he taps uh, Killian's sh shoulders. What do you think Croak is doing? I don't know. That suit's probably messing with his neck. He's probably slept funny. <clears throat> Do you think we should take them? Uh, to give it a second. What do you think they're whispering about, Croak? Mm. Uh, there's no telling with the two of them. <laughs> probably something slightly nefarious. <laughs> it's, it's probably best Kelly's we don't gonna know. Say, Kelly's gonna mm -hmm. walk over here and trip over the cauldron and say very loudly, Ow! I'm gonna pick up a mushroom. <laughs> uh, Oriander turns his attention to you, Killian, as he chips and says, uh, "Careful there, Killian." Oh, sorry, I just kicked your cauldron. Are you okay, Killian? Do you need a health potion? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just my toe is hurt. Uh -huh. Oh man. Uh, I'll be alright. Do, do you need me to carry you? Do you require uppies? Uh, yeah, uppies. Uppies! Uppies! All right, you going on the shoulders or on the back? How are we doing this? Um, I'll I'll go on the back, and then with your arms, you got to carry Gilly. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just you or nothing. So. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, right. that's okay. I hope you ever carry me like that, Croak. I know, Croak. Quite heavy, yo. And Gilly, I just... Killian's light, alright? Hey, I'm not too heavy. <laughs> well, ask your girlfriend for her to carry you like a princess, then. Oh, she probably could do it, too. Probably. Uh, as you talk, the other students that were waiting outside filter in and out uh, to take a look around um, and then as everybody has a peek uh, Professor Oriander says uh, alright then if everybody's had a good look then uh, we can close this up alright hey we didn't get stuck in here yet oh that's true yet all right, then, just out the door. Uh, Croak will follow the students out with Killian on his back. <laughs> How cute! <laughs> uh, you make your way through back through the uh, shadowy door and arrive back in your class. <laughs> uh... Killian, I'm going to set you down here. I hope that your toe's all right. Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for the pee back ride. Uh, indeed. Can that be the favor that I owe you? No. no. <laughs> Why would that count, Croak? I, I need a specific favor from you. Croak mumbles a bit on his way back to his seat at the back. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not too bad. Uh, Professor Oriander makes his way back to the front of the class and then with a 
snap of his fingers, the door disappears. And he says, uh, all right, then. Um, does anybody have any questions? No. Hmm. Is there a limit to the number of rooms you can create with that? A very good question. From what I've discovered so far, there is not. Wow. Uh, is it only the caster and those the caster allows to enter, or can anyone enter? Uh, as long as you can fit through the door. Uh, sorry, Professor, I couldn't hear you here in the back. Could you repeat that? As long as you can fit through the door, you can enter the demi place. Hmm, understood. Yeah, yo, you can't get too big. There goes my dream of being a dragon troll. <laughs> <laughs> now then, uh, before I finish up the class and allow you to leave, I've been instructed to inform you that uh, coming up next week are your exams. Oh. As well as after that, the uh, Spell Spent Festival to end the year. Oh, it's gone by so quickly. <laughs> it really has. Uh, well, I hope everyone's prepared for their exams. I know I've been studying quite a bit. Uh, maybe? Kira looks down in shame. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you need some tutoring, I would be happy to assist. Oh, thank you, Croak. You're a true friend. Anytime. Now, as you are all first years, I can explain a little further. Uh, the exams for first years uh, take place uh, first with the written examination. Ooh. And then oh. after that will be the practical examination. Mm -hmm. So I would advise that you study um, for the written portion and uh, perhaps practice for the practical. Mm -hmm. I need Amelia. Oh my god. On the uh, on the day of the practical, you will be advised as to where to head and at what time slot. And as for the written, you will be given through your schedules a uh, a place for you to write each of your exams. Uh, I look forward to acing both exams, Professor. Of course. Don't give me those uh, dour faces. I'm sure you'll all be quite all right. <laughs> I hope you're right. Yeah, we got this. We, we can finish a test. Oh, I can finish it. I just don't know what my grade's going to be. <laughs> just remember, yo. C's get degrees. <laughs> I can't remember anything, Croak. Oh. As long as you've been paying attention in class, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Well, in that case, I'm all better off than Gilly. <laughs> uh, Croak just kind of yells, guys. Kirk yells for that. Gilly, make sure you study well for the exams. You don't want to have to repeat a year. Uh, Ooh, how embarrassing would that be? Yeah. Imagine he, like, that. he like plops his head on the desk and then just makes a noise that sounds like that he's dying a little bit on the inside. Uh -huh. Don't worry, and Gilly. Amelia. With that, uh, you are all dismissed, and uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your week. Thank you. You too, uh, Professor. Indeed, Professor. Thank you. 
he gathers, gathers up his things and heads out of the classroom. Killed it. I got it. I did awesome. Do you want some lock me? Some of what? <laughs> oh, we. I don't know. It's this mushroom. He smells the mushroom. What does it smell? What do I smell? Um. Slightly peppery. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And he, like, cuts it and then gives a little bit to Lockney and Killian and himself. Bottoms up! Killian eats it. Right. Gilly eats it. Are we gonna roll on the random mushroom stable? Yes! 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 Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, somebody roll. You do it, Gilly. Alright. What am I? A hundred? Yep. Oh. Jeez. Ooh, 44. All right, one sec. <laughs> I get perfect. Um, I could just see Croak like s- staring us down. <laughs> um, you bite into it, and it tastes bitter. Ugh. Mm. And uh, within the mushroom itself, as you sort of chew on it, um, it sort of bursts with a liquid. Uh. Uh, and the liquid is is what is giving it a very bitter taste. And as you, uh, did did the rest of you eat it as well? Yeah, we all did. Yeah. Yeah, like Yo, you guys did. Sure. We did. We did. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making sure there wasn't just Gilly. Um, so as you look across at each other, um, you can see each other chewing on this. And as you um, see the slightly opened mouths of each other, um, you can see that each of your uh, teeth are stained black. <laughs> as a uh, a slight dribble of uh, black liquid drips out of the corner of Lockney's mouth and she goes this doesn't taste too good I know it doesn't uh, oh what was that Jesus is it inky tasting uh, yes it is very inky it's an ink shroom Oh my god, it was nasty, is what it was. <laughs> it was. Ugh, god damn it. Now Lockney just oh, wipes her mouth and says, uh, Well, that was unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Thank god we did it at the end of our day. I know. Let's go brush our teeth. Oh my god, I haven't brushed my teeth since the Winter Winds Festival. <laughs> uh, Gilly, Killian, weren't you going to speak to Windermere about something? Mm-hmm. Are we going to talk about it again? Oh, great morning, Star. What happened to your teeth, Killian? Uh, nothing. Is it the demon? Ugh. Is it the demon? Ugh, it's no. spreading. <laughs> it's what? Hey, Croak, you should... Uh, do, do you gotta that mushroom bit? Or did we, like, bite it all? We probably bit it all. Yeah, I think we did. Don't worry, Croak. It's that contagious. Uh, we, so we, were you not going to speak to Windermere? We, we're gonna have to... We always do it at dinner. Yeah, we'll we'll see you at dinner, right Windermere. Here. Yeah. No problem. Oh, uh, uh, all right. Uh, well, I gotta, well, get off to. gotta get this taste out of my mouth. Yeah. Something strange with their teeth, yo. Mm. I don't even want to know. Indeed, stay back. It might be contagious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's gotten locking, too. Huh. <laughs> Uh, she just flashes you a toothy smile as she walks out. I nod with a grimace on my face. <laughs> Try and smile. Croak's like got one arm, uh, one arm like guarding Yo, and the other 
falling <laughs> off of the sword. It's not like we're possessed. Well, you never know with our party. kind of are. That's true. I said we are not possessed. I didn't say <laughs> I'm not possessed. I don't know about Kaylian anymore. She has this thing on her head. A good, po good point. Oh yeah, you're all both possessed now. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks to be you, possessed nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. So I'm heading back to the dorms. Kellyanne looks yeah. in this class. What's going on in here? Are they finishing uh, up too? Yeah, they're wrapping up the lesson as well. Evocations. Oh. Yeah. Do Damn. any of them look out the door? Uh, no, they seem to be paying attention to uh, Damn. Professor Laguna, oh, who is giving a similar <laughs> spiel about exams. Oh. Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> exams are going to hit hard, guys. <laughs> I'm not prepared. Uh, we will hit them hard, Killian. Oh, man, I don't know. Yes, we must hit the books hard first, though. Mm. Yes, punch the books. I'm, yeah. the hell out of those I'm, a, I'm no. good for yeah, that. No. Let's punch the books. Yeah. That's not what I meant. Is it, that's how, Can it be what that's you how mean? we're going to learn the material, right? Punching the yeah. books? We're going to break those books fine. Yeah, we're going to break yeah. them. We're going to use our muscle memory. <laughs> yes. Guys, we're, we're in college. You, that's not how you study. You know that, right? Uh... To be honest, this is my first time at school. I don't uh, know. I was well, never a good test taker at the other college. Yo, I understand yeah. your perspective. <laughs> uh, however, beating books is not how you learn. Uh, simply reading them and memorizing the text and studying uh, is an effective method. Oh. I'm going to. Uh, I don't remember anything. I'm going to drop in the prayer room real quick so I can light like a, a candle for Alice's body in the um, bride and groom's room. Okay. Like a ca candle to help her get to her next destiny, wherever that might be. All right. You do so. That sounded sweet until you said bride and groom for some reason. Yeah, I know, because they're like, <laughs> this, you know, like demonic kind of scary okay so i go do the, i'm gonna go do that real quick and then rush out uh Goris, how are you today not too bad yourself uh i fare fairly well uh i was just wondering um uh, my friend killian here uh perhaps could use a new set of armor oh yeah uh, I was wondering if perhaps you were able to craft some scale mail. Hmm, I see. Uh, pretty flimsy looking armor on you at the moment, but uh, old Goris can fix you up. It will take a little bit to make, though. Hmm, understood. Uh, and the price? Uh, uh, we'll negotiate the price once it's done. How's that sound? Okay. That is fair. Uh, thank you very much, Chorus. Uh, I'll be returning to the dorms for dinner. Hey, you have Crow, a pleasant evening. You're a favor you owe me. You Hold as well. on. Uh, yes, Killian. What... Uh, hey, Crow was wondering if he could use the room to repair his armor for a bit. Mm, all right, now. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm, I'm a bit uh, busy on some orders right now, but. Uh, okay. Some other when time, Good time, do you think? Uh, well, schedule's packed all the way up to exams. Oh my so, uh, gosh. Perhaps after. Okay, okay. After exams. Sounds good. Uh, Craig's just a little confused, but he's like, uh, all right, then, after exams. Thank you, Goris. Have a nice day. Don't worry, Croak. It's nothing bad. 
When you say that, I don't believe you for some reason, Killian. Yeah, it's nothing bad at all. Alright, Kirk will salute Tom and Arlette on his way out. Uh, headed to the dorms. Get some dinner. Din din. All right, you make your way. Uh, just give me one second if I need to do something. Sure. Uh, I'm not leaving the, the table, but <laughs> I need to do something. Yeah, you're good, man. How long is that toffee thing going to stay there? I mean, forever. You can't clean that shit up. It's gonna, oh dry. my god, it's just like covered in grass and everything. Uh, uh. Jesus. Gonna be resurrected in the end. Oh She's god, don't say that. <laughs> this is gonna attract ants. We're gonna have to fight <laughs> ant monsters at some point. <laughs> modified ant monsters that eat the modified food. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. Then. You make your way to Sundial Square where you see. Pause champ. Yes, pause champ is perfect. <laughs> where you see uh, two of the professors. <gasps> and they are uh, speaking with a uh, young man in the center of Sundial Square. Greetings, professors. Uh, they turn to look at you, and you see the young man also sort of drift his gaze past. And uh, Professor Redway says, Oh, hello, students. Uh, how are you today? Uh, doing uh, quite fine, and yourself? Just preparing for the finals. Mm, yeah. Of course, yes, finals are coming up. It's good to be prepared for those. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were just uh, catching up with an old student. Uh, I'll introduce you. Uh, this is uh, Quinn Frostgrove, a, uh, an alumni of the college. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hello, Quinn. Hello, Quinn. Nice to meet you. Uh, Kirk will salute Quinn. Uh, I salute back. Hmm. Awkwardly. <laughs> Much Dylan just half, half waves at him. He's not really sure who he is. Uh, so, Quinn, uh, what might you be doing here at the college today? Oh, uh, I was feeling a little nostalgic. And since it's my birthday, I thought I'd make it a special occasion. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, birthday. Happy Happy birthday, birthday. Quinn. I'm gonna do a cake. <laughs> Uh, don't eat oh, any no food from her or dinner. Hey, don't say that, Krug. My bread is delicious. Gilly, are your so teeth are still the black? Yeah, they are. <laughs> yes, their their teeth are black. That tells you all you need to know. Gilly, <laughs> <laughs> they're <laughs> I'll start laughing. You see, uh, Professor Fredjoy just sort of squint her eyes and lean in a little bit to look at the two of you. And she says, uh, Yes, what exactly is going on with your teeth? Uh, I oh. ate a jellyfish. Mm -hmm. No, I ate. <laughs> That's not what produces ink. <laughs> a jellyfish? I meant squid. Uh, Quinn, the standards of the college may have dropped a bit since we last <laughs> attended. Croak. <laughs> I don't know I about that. Supposed to be our friend. Wow, Croak. <laughs> Can't believe I healed you. Uh, your healing is always appreciated, Killian. I will always yeah, attempt to guard you as that. well. Uh, so Quinn, um, you have returned to the college for the birthday. I see. I'm uh, sorry. What? 
You have returned to the college for your birthday. Uh, how long will you be staying? Uh, not long. Hmm. I understand. Uh, what is it that you do nowadays? Are you an envoy for the college, or do you have perhaps your own line of work? Uh, yeah, actually, I I did some adventuring, but I settled down and started a little bakery. Oh, a bakery. Oh, mm. He doesn't need you to bake him a cake, Billy. <laughs> Uh, and where is this bakery, Quinn? Uh, we frequent one in Arcane quite a bit. Uh, a Miss Bill there is a very nice person who loves cooking us treats and whatnot. <clears throat> Chocolate croissants, yes. Mm. Oh, it's uh, down southwest. Hmm, southwest? Towards Averlin, perhaps? Yeah, around there. Ah, I am uh, originally from Talos. Uh, it is where my mother currently resides. You have a mom? Yeah. What? Yes, what? I have a mother and a father, Killian. You do? Oh. Yes. I didn't know you were a human. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm... I am human. I'm pretty sure I told you at some point. I thought you just knew. I don't know, man. Like, humans around here are pretty far in between. Yeah. Uh, well, in Everlyn, humans are the most populous, so it's not <clears> very <throat> strange there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, I just wanted to meet up with a few of my favorite professors from my time here. Mm. Uh, yes. Mm. Professor Redjoy and Professor uh, Hibiske are uh, very good professors indeed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I always enjoyed their classes. What do you bake at your bakery? <laughs> uh, bread, mostly. Sometimes what? desserts for special occasions. What kind of bread? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta uh, watch out. It's his class of cooks. They're gonna quiz you. <laughs> Just say Kokasha. Huh? What? Don't, don't give him answers, Croak. <laughs> Dude, I, I have a collect. I'm starting to collect um, bread yeast. Why? Um. It doesn't yeah, wow. matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why I'm collecting them. <laughs> okay. Uh, mostly just wheat bread. Oh. I like wheat. So you. I like wheat. It's good for you. Beer. Yeah. They wouldn't have made a lot of wheat bread. Oh my god. Do you know that, do you know that wheat bread is mostly white bread? Like just regular green, <laughs> yeah. Because um, complete wheat tastes like crap. <laughs> none <laughs> shall, <laughs> none shall escape the cook zone. <laughs> Any who pass nearby will be absorbed. <laughs> Gilly, this is a professional baker. Surely you don't huh? have to educate him on bread. Killian's standing on this bench, by the way. <laughs> you should totally join us for dinner. Josephine is a great cook. She really is. Yeah. And then oh. I can show you my bread yeast collection, which is just sourdough from Bell, but still. Ooh, I love sourdough. Ooh. Well, yes. Come along, Quinn, and uh, join us. Uh, we're having dinner <laughs> in the dorms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Man, your I'm name's Quinn. You. I'm a Quinn too. It's my last name. <laughs> Take care, professor. Well, it's my first name, so. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice day. Uh, don't forget to study for your exams. Sure. It was nice seeing you yeah. again. Nice to see you as if, well. If only the exams were about bread, 
then I might pass. Oh my god, you would totally pass, Gilly. I know. <laughs> I'm sure on a full stomach we'll be able to study and retain lots of knowledge. Alright, you make your way back towards the dormitory. Um, I'm gonna go... It's getting later into the afternoon. Hmm, but it's been a while really since you've seen this dorm, Quinn. Oh, you have no idea. I went into the kitchen and grabbed my labeled uh, sourdough starter. <laughs> Just show it off. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Uh, Kirk's gonna grab the plates to set out. Look! It just, uh, have, do you know what yeast looks like? It's just like, uh, bubble. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like bubbly flour, kind of. Ah, uh, I'm aware. <laughs> And then he's going to open it up and smell it. It smells so good. You're talking to a master baker. I know. Gilly. Yeah. <laughs> and then he he's like, do you want to sniff? Smell it? I'm going to inspect the dough. It's not dough. It's just yeast. Oh, yeast. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I will have to teach you about bread. Uh, okay, how about dinner, everyone? Miss Josephina, nice to see you. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? Mm -mm. Mm, yes, I'm just uh, in the middle of cooking it. Uh, Quinn, if you would like to roll a 1d100, or a d100. <laughs> okay, let me do that. Let me grab my totally real dice. Nice. That I totally have right in front of me. And I'm rolling it right now. <laughs> 46. Oh, that's not Minotaur Burgers, is it? Oh, I heard funny. Nope. I think we've had that one before. That is seaweed soup. Mm. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Ah. Sounds delicious. One of my favorites. Uh, yeah. mm, seaweed. Great. Should be ready in a short <laughs> amount of time. So uh, just hold your horses for a moment. Thank you, Josephine. <laughs> uh, you can have a seat at the table, Quinn, if you like. Yeah. I'm going to put my yeast away. So, Quinn, um, when you took your final to exams to last year, what was it like? <laughs> Who said it was last year? <laughs> when you did, that's true. When you <laughs> took your finals, what were they like? Oh, they were pretty tough, but mostly because I'm kind of stupid. <gasps> Dang. With that attitude. <clears throat> if Quinn can, well, if Quinn I was can pass, kind of stupid. What? How did you fix it? <laughs> I must know. <laughs> uh, that's my secret, and I'm oh. taking it to the grave. No way. Sorry, you'll get no help from me. I'll always be dumb. <laughs> me too. Uh, but at least I have a pretty face. This is perhaps That's the uh, the hazing I've heard of by older <laughs> students. Uh, it is actually just to get us to be independent on our own as younger students. Is it really? Yes, and Very definitely not about. because I don't remember the criteria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the in criteria, in criteria <clears throat> of the finals. Here's your totally. meal now. Here's your meal now, dears. <laughs> Uh, she lays mm, out delicious. a bunch of bowls of seaweed soup. Thank you, Miss Josephina. Thank you. My yes. pleasure. Thank Eat you, Miss Josephina. Yes, it's nice to see you again, Quinn. It's been quite some time. Yes, it has. Mm. Oh, yeah, and down at that end is Windermere. <gasps> hey, Windy! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Windermere. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Quinn. I am Quinn Frothrow. 
Windermere Kahani. But we call her Windy. Yeah. We don't call her that. They don't, don't like that name. They don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Quinn, Windermere has an imp named Skeeter. Hmm. Skeeter, uh, huh? Of course. Uh, one moment. Yes, uh, we as a party named it for her. Ah. Look at how adorable he is. <laughs> uh, a small adorable. imp, uh, black as tar, appears on her shoulder. Aww. Kind of cute. She, uh, He's pat getting bigger. Pats his head. Yeah. Oh, never mind. He's shrinking. <laughs> So, um, Windermere, I have this vial of stuff. I thought you might know what it is. And he, like, digs through his satchel and takes it out and then puts it in front of her and then starts to scoop soup into his mouth, forgetting that his mouth is inky still. <laughs> and it's like... I'm guessing dripping a little bit of the ink into the food, but whatever, it's edible. Yes, uh, let me take a look. She pulls out the um, little vial that you have mm -hmm. um, with the small little purple cotton balls. And she sort of turns it back and forth and scrutinizes it for a bit and says... Uh, this this looks familiar. I, I think this is from from my homeland. Mm -hmm. But how did you get your hands on this? Well, you see, go croak. Give her a synopsis of what just happened. <laughs> uh, we found it in a cave. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. I, I see. A, a rather odd for it to be in a cave Ignore here that. and not in <laughs> not in Kiltahera, but but this these are spores from a fungus. Aha! Uh -huh. Should we be eating around that? It's in a vial. Okay, I guess. Uh, There's a fungus among us? <gasps> Indeed. Oh no! Was that? Uh, Windermere, uh, Windermere, and perhaps even Quinn too. Uh, have you two, either either of you, ever heard of a person uh, named Mistress uh, Emorius? No, I have. I have not heard of that name. Hmm. Neither have I. Hmm. Understood. Uh, what about anybody this is gone by the... E? Well. E is Amorius. Yeah, but they write E on everything. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Do you know anyone who perhaps just goes by the letter E as well? No, I have not. Not that I've been aware of, no. Uh, we believe that to be the culprit behind uh, the attack on Arcane and um, what was going on in that cave that we found the vial. Gilly, uh, these are spores from ivory amanita. Ivory? No. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a fungus that grows <coughs> in the uh, the forests of Keltahera, uh, often around the Sindrio. And, um, well, the, the property of it, properties of it are curious you see the spores they infect uh, small creatures uh, mice insects squirrels uh, tiny creatures and they slowly begin to take over the processes of that creature Ooh. that sounds horrifying that does sound mm -hmm. horrifying Quite. <laughs> There's an actual ant that has this happen to them, and then it like 
grows out of its head or its <laughs> um, body. Yeah, I've seen those. They're really yeah, creepy. they're disgusting. <laughs> That's terrifying. What part of Grand Lorian do they reside? In? <laughs> <laughs> now, often when we find a creature that is infected with the ivory amanita spore, we put it out of its misery. Okay, so I'm not gonna drink this or use it. I would not do so, though. I have never seen it infect anything larger than a small creature. So, I'm not sure it would have any effect on you, though. I would avoid consuming it regardless. Uh, Kirk's gave gaze shifts to Killian slightly. Uh, Killian, don't drink any of that if Gilly offers you some. Just don't worry. I only take solid food offers. <laughs> Understood. Smart. Uh, hey, Quinn, She's an so... adult lady. Why do you have to warn her? I'm like, an adult. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Gotcha. You're an adult, definitely. <laughs> I'm um, an adult. Okay, adult. intentionally kidnapping people they just found the girl Hello? well they had all those um clothes okay. townspeople clothes that's true you're right yeah, yeah she was just one of the many that yeah. can you guys hear me yeah yes, yeah now. okay i disconnected yes. twice in a row damn I, th I thought it was coming back and then it dc'd and my phone died <laughs> <Weird>. <laughs> At the exact moment where I was like, I will just tweet that I disconnected. And it's like, no. you have you have 30 seconds. <laughs> Dang. Damn. All right, I'm back. I got bits and pieces of that conversation, but it's probably chopped up between a bunch of stream stuff. <laughs> uh, I think I last, Quinn and I were talking about abjuration magic a little bit. I see. I don't know what it is about Sundays. Yeah. Sunday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and we were we were saying that um Killian is not a kid. She is yeah. not kidian. Killian's an adult. <laughs> if you say she so. is not kidian. <laughs> yeah, Methinks she doth protest me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this uh, is the second college she's been to. She's <laughs> yeah, definitely arguing your case for being an adult there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Flunking out of college, going to another. Hey, sometimes it happens. <laughs> Things happen. 
It was the college's fault. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Don't be too hard on her. <laughs> this is like hidden backstory that I don't know. Then it was the yeah. college's fault. <laughs> She's revealing new lore. Yeah. He gave me his last name off stream, even though I'm pretty sure we already knew it. Did uh, we? I don't think I have said it in this group. There's been opportunities for you to find it, but yeah, I, I haven't said it. Your last name, Croak? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, Croaks. Croaks got a Croke? first and a last name. And it, neither of them are croak. <laughs> oh, it's, not, it's not croak ribbit. I mean, it's not a frog. No. Oh, I thought it was croak. <laughs> croak frog the rabbit. Croak's yeah. his nickname. No, I know that, but not in character. You see a yeah, frog yeah. under all that armor? Huh? <laughs> well, see, see, Quinn. Um, apparently, there's a human under there, but we haven't seen it. Yes, I'm a normal human male. <laughs> Uh -huh. when you said that makes me not want to believe you. Right. I want to clarify. <laughs> it makes right, me right. think that he isn't a human. Mm -hmm. either. You know what? Whatever you are, Croak, I still love you. I mean, what uh -huh. is... <laughs> I love and you I too, you. I, I accept you for who you are. What if you... his I... name is Amarias and not Croak? No. <laughs> it's not my name. I swear, to, I swear to God. I swear to Santa Claus. If you betray me like that. That's some pretty nice armor you have, Croak. Uh, Croak lights up. Uh, much appreciated, Quinn. Visor. Yeah, there's like a glint, like a gleam, like shines over his visor. <laughs> uh, you see. It's hard to tell he's human because he doesn't even lift his visor to eat. Like what? slots food into it. <laughs> yeah. That's that's I'm not sure that must get there pretty might be messy. a goblin there might be a goblin in there. I shower I listen, Quinn, I bathe every single day. <laughs> These two rarely bathe. Uh Gilly bathes a little bit more than Killian, but they get quite ripe. I'm at least hygienic. <laughs> Killian said she hasn't yeah. brushed her teeth since the winter she wind like festival. She smiles at Quinn. Like, <laughs> open mouth, toothy grin. Did you wipe the black stuff out of your mouth ever? No, we haven't gone there yet. <laughs> We're yeah. eating dinner right now. It wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Can't you before you eat. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, listen, Quinn, you seem like a pretty good guy. Uh, I have some stuff I found in that cave if you like to partake and uh croak will take out <gasps> his pack um the fish Drugs? alcohol bottle <laughs> nasty oh my god i'm sorry what was that i couldn't hear you over the others it uh, is yes uh... it is uh fish alcohol hmm. <laughs> uh, not made from fish uh, that i know of but from made a fish person fish. Fish. Got it in in, be careful uh... I'm skeptical, but intrigued. Uh, Croak will take a, he'll put the bottle up to his visor and just kind of pour a bit in, take a swig, and then set it on the table. Whew. It's a bit strong. Uh, watch yourself there. Hmm. I'm not much of a drinker. I'll only have a sip. Hmm. Understood. Uh, Quinn has got a, a salty taste to it and very strong alcohol. Whew. You weren't kidding. I really, it. really pairs nicely with the uh, seaweed soup tonight. Mm -hmm. Can I have some? Uh, yeah, you can share my bottle, Killian. Oh, yay. He is an adult, after all. I'm an adult. Oh, that's right, she is an adult. <laughs> Hmm. I'll hand over a bottle to you. She takes, the way like, you keep acid. repeating that makes me think otherwise. <laughs> but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Listen, Quinn, I don't believe it either, but if she keeps repeating it enough, then, you know, I'm <laughs> fine. True. We'll treat her Damn. like that. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I mean, she looks like an adult, but... It's the... Behavior. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. 
She just takes like a couple big gulps of the bottle, ignoring the taste as best as possible. Wait, do you give her fish alcohol or the uh, goblin beer? Fish. Okay. Wait, don't you still have <laughs> goblin alcohol? Or... Yeah. Technically, it's Nilbog. Oh alcohol. my god. Push up her glasses <laughs> harder. <laughs> yeah, so good. So, what do you all like to study? Um, Bread. Yeah, well. <laughs> I know so, that, if you told me. Uh, I like studying abjuration and evocation magic. And, uh,. On occasion, uh, spell scrolls as well. Hmm. I, like I really to... like plants. I have a talking tree. <sighs> I like like collecting plants. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Killy does drugs, and Killian <laughs> uh, raises a she... sentient tree. What? <laughs> Uh, I don't do that many drugs. Oh, she also drugs other people, so uh, be a little wary of anything she tries to give you to ingest. She? So she? you're into studying plants uh, as well. When, when was the last time I I'm did very that? dumb. When was the last time I did it? It was like, what? It was only ago? a one-time thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I like I do it every day. I mean, that's one more time than I've ever done it. Yeah, you drugged me once. Shame on you. <laughs> you drugged me twice. <laughs> Can't get drugged again. <laughs> By now, a lot of you have sort of finished up your meals. <laughs> uh, so, Quinn, will you be spending the night here? Uh, I believe there is a free room. Hmm. I suppose I have time to spend the night. Yeah, you'll have a great breakfast. You can come to class with us tomorrow. <laughs> no, you can't. Schedule oh. master. What's our first class tomorrow? Um, just a moment, Killian. I'm cleaning up the plates. Uh, Kirk cleans up the plates and then checks the schedule. Uh, more lectures. You can uh, come to a lecture, lecture with us. Or, or guys, you can play hooky. Uh, I, I look at her disapprovingly. With finals <laughs> coming up, Killian? We, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you really want to fail college again? <laughs> <laughs> I may not have been the brightest student while I was here, but I did attend every class. So. Kirk nods in approval. Hmm, fine. I won't play hooky because I don't want to do it alone. <laughs> if it wasn't close to the finals, I'd be there with you, Killian. Hmm. Maybe, Maybe next year. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Just remember, Killian, winners never quit, and quitters never win. What? What? Make that up. It's an old saying in Averland. Hmm. Hmm. I've never heard it. <laughs> but if you uh, say so. Callous specific. <laughs> maybe it's just my neighborhood. Who knows? Mm -hmm. His mom just <laughs> told him that. My mother is a very wise woman. How so... come we've never met her? Can, can you invite her over? Yeah, we need Gilly's to, mom. We need to send a letter to Croak's mom. Oh my god, yeah. We can we can invite her over. We can if she comes, we'll know he's human. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. yeah. We need to see both parents first. That's true. Oh yeah. Oh my god, if we see both of them, we could like put them together and know what he looks like. Yeah. Unless two a woman and a man just show up in full body armor. I think that's what we should do. We uh, Croak, we're gonna write your mom a letter. We need her address. She's quite busy with her guard duty uh, most days. I don't think she'll find the time to visit. Can we uh, make a weekend trip to Talis or Yeah. Well, I will say you all are welcome to join me over summer break. Back in Talos, I plan on visiting my family during that time. <gasps> we could. 
you could. You know what? I say we do it. Break summer break also means um more drugs. Oh my <laughs> god, tell us be a whole new place to find some. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you're staying with me, my mother is a town guard and my father is a captain in the army. Uh, perhaps you could not do drugs at the house. Yeah, we won't do it in your secretive. house. That's just disrespectful. Okay, good. good. Much appreciated. I, I was planning on just renting a nice apartment in the town. Because <laughs> oh. Gilly. Must be nice. Yeah, that gold. <laughs> oh my god, wait, is Talos a big town? <laughs> I think uh, it yes. is. It is the capital of Aberlour. Oh my large. god, I could play my bagpipes in the streets and make some cash. No, uh, Windermere not, uh, yawns and says, uh, I, I think I'm going to study a little bit and then head to bed. All right, See you Wendy. All tomorrow. We'll it was you. a pleasure meeting you, Windermere. And you as well. Good night, Windermere. Good night, Skeeter. Good night. Skeeter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um... Are you gonna tell us about some mission that we have to do? <laughs> No. Hey. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking to, Gilly? Uh, Quinn. Like, no a, like a quest. No, like a quest. Yeah, you need our help with something. We could totally yeah. accomplish anything if you can pay for us. I mean, we're not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have anything at the moment, but <laughs> if there ever comes a time I have something I need taken care of, I'll let you know. Yes. Right on. Uh, we are the people that can do that thing. Yes, uh, we are. We specialize in handling, uh, well, monsters in addition to uh, thieves, uh, home invaders. Uh, Entertainment. I can play bagpipes. Yo can uh, sing. Yo can draw. I can't sing. <laughs> if you find dance. any criminals or thieves or, you know, rogues breaking the law, please let us know. And uh, we'd be happy we to. Cut them up. And then yes. Croak will stab them in the heart. I yes, will. he would. Uh, all right. <laughs> it, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what, is, um, what is wrong with these guys? Oh, and we have a free room at the end of the hall. Uh, last week, a ghost was living in there, but she's gone now. So it should be free. Uh, okay, I hope so. <laughs> yes, that'll be your room. I mean, it's not that she didn't mind having company in there. Yeah, Killian was hanging out with her every night. Yeah. I don't much like ghosts and scary things. Oh, yeah, then maybe it's a good thing she's gone. That's kind of why I quit adventuring. <laughs> you quit adventuring? Because ghosts? Well, yes, he's a baker now. Yeah. Adventure I... baker. <laughs> I mentioned that earlier. <laughs> You can multitask. I thought you, I thought you just bought a bakery with your money and still adventured. Oh, no, no. My adventuring days are behind me. Did I get any good loot while you're out adventuring? Ah, uh, as a matter of fact, yes. And that's also why I'm here. I... I wanted to give out presents instead of receiving them this year. Oh? That's huh? very generous of you. Wait, I have a present? You don't want to receive anything? What about this hat? <laughs> well, I kind of already gave you some alcohol, so you can say it's well, even if you give me something. <laughs> I suppose. But, yeah. I have some items that I brought along with me from home. Mm. Mm. And I'm going to lay them out on the table. All right. All right. Uh, on the table, you see uh, a couple different items. And 
The first is a uh, a candlestick with a slightly blue tinge to it. Uh, the next one is a small little pouch, and the one next to that is a little wooden whistle, and the final object is a small ring. Can you tell me what the little wooden whistle looks like? Does it look like a horse or something? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it. I'm trying to meta, Gilly. <laughs> Hey, I'm just at, no, that either. wasn't meta gaming because I was asking what it looked like. Spec you asked specifically about the horse. Leading <laughs> questions. Wait, or what does that have to do with the horse? What if it looked like a horse? Then I could call, I can have a horse friend. Like a <laughs> mithril, a summon a horse. like a mithril, unicorn, mermaid, whatever the what? fuck. What? That that mer that horse that we had made conjured up in that one class wasn't it like blue and yeah yeah I'm not crazy. I think it was great. Mm. Uh, I was gonna say Quinn, our party does a bit of drugs, so <laughs> I, I've I've noticed. <laughs> no, that that wasn't class. You were there. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, I was definitely there in that class, Gilly, <laughs> attending that lecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you uh, were, and then you Yo put me up on the horse, and Yo put me yeah. down on the floor. He gave me uppies and downies. Yeah. Ah, yes, that is indeed what happened that day, Killian, in that class. <laughs> oh my god, it really happened! <laughs> it was like a high-level spell. Wait, do I have notes about it somewhere? Wait, so what's on the believe. table again? Huh? I think it was Phantom Steed as a spell. A, what was the first thing? A candle, a pouch, a whistle, and a ring. Ooh. Uh, Croak would like to inspect the ring. Killian will inspect <laughs> the pouch. The ring is uh, small and uh, rather plain looking iron uh, with a little stone embedded into it. I don't what know. What are you going to do? Put it over your armor? Killian, I have hands up under these gauntlets. <laughs> you can take the, take the gauntlet off. Aren't the gauntlets, like, snug, though? 